Hmm. Oh, hi. Want some? Oh, what's that? You want to know what flavor this is? Um, gee, uh, I really don't remember. It was something like chocolate chip almond something. Sheesh, ice cream names are so hard to remember these days. You know, in the past, there used to be just three flavors. Vanilla, chocolate and strawberry. Life was so simple. But now, you have a huge list of flavors and it can get so confusing. Is there anything that really confuses you? Algebraic expressions. Nah, that's just like ice cream. Didn't understand? Let me explain. Imagine you go to buy a cone of ice cream. You can pick from many, many flavors, but they'll always come in a single cone, right? The cone is like a constant in maths. It has a fixed value. The flavors are like the variables. They can take many values. So, for example, in the expression 5x, 5 is the constant. It has a fixed value of 5. The x is the variable. It could be 1, 3, 100 or any other number. Now, I don't know about you, but I sure like more than one scoop on my ice cream cone. So just like you can have first scoop of any flavor, you could have second scoop of any flavor or even a third scoop of any flavor. Just like that, you can have different variables and each variable could be denoted by different letters. They could all take any value. What about the topping on your ice cream? Let's say we add a cherry to the top. Now, we've added something extra to the ice cream. All the parts that we add together to form an expression are called terms. So in the expression 5xyz plus 3, 5xyz is one term, while 3 is another. Hence, this expression has two terms. Each term has parts which multiply together to give that term. For example, the cone with the three scoops had four parts. The cone, scoop 1, scoop 2 and scoop 3. These separate parts of a term are called its factors. Can you see that there are two types of factors here? One is a number or a numerical factor and the others are variables or algebraic factors. The numerical factors of a term is called the coefficient of that term. So here, 5 is the coefficient of the term 5xyz. So let's say you are really happy eating your 3 scoop ice cream and suddenly it slips from your hand and falls to the ground. Splat! Now if the ice cream man gives you another ice cream but with just one scoop, would you like that? Of course not. You'd probably get really angry and ask for the same three scoops, right? Similarly, when the algebraic factors of two terms are the same, the terms are called like terms. The numerical factors could be different, but as long as the algebraic factors are the same, they are still called like terms. Can you guess what we'd call terms with different algebraic factors? Yes, you're right. Unlike terms. So let's say you order a three scooped cone ice cream. This would be just one term, right? Because it had nothing else added to it. Expressions that have just one term are called monomials. The word mono means one. What if you order one more? But this time, a bit different. Maybe you get a cup ice cream with two scoops. Let's say that it represents the term 2xy. How many ice creams do you have now? Two. Expressions that have two terms have a special name too. They are called binomials. Bi means two. Similarly, if you are still greedy for more and order a third ice cream, you'll have one more ice cream to add. Expressions with three terms are called trinomials. And tri means three. All expressions with two or more terms come under what we call polynomials. Oh no, look at my ice cream. It's all melted now. <laughs> I'll have to go get some more.